So we are talking used versus new, and uh, I don't know what your opinion is it, but to me, if I can get it cheaper, then I'll go used. Um, but I want, still want it to be, you know, good or a, a price or a bargain or, you know, it's got to be a money saver, hasn't it? Otherwise, what's the point? So, um, what was that? Derek from Tamworth wanted to do an unboxing. Oh, hang on a minute, Derek. Just for you, Derek, unboxing. The Dewalt 12 inch chainsaw. Let's unbox it for Derek. Usual the old catalogue of instructions. Yeah, a bit of cardboard. And you get your saw, and that's what you get really. It's a bare unit saw and instructions. Okay. Now, I have already unboxed this, <laughs> and uh, there's, there's a couple of things I, I, I will say. It's kind of two videos in one, if you like. It's um, a used versus new review, and um, registering this tool, right? <laughs> right, where was we? Take two. Um, yeah, I've been looking at a couple of used ones on eBay. Um, one of them has just sold, right, for £156 and six pence, right, with £6.14 postage. So a total of £162.20, pence, right? Now, bear in mind, right, it's, it's used. Might not have been abused, but it's still used. I mean, the chain could be destroyed who knows even say it, it might need a sharp and it might need a new chain <clears throat> now dewalt if you go to dewalt the chain that they recommend is 25 pounds so you know this guy's just spent 162 pound 20 pence on this chainsaw and if he's in for a new chain as well it's another 25 quid you know that's 187 pounds now, as I said before, I'm I'm all for getting a bargain, but there's some times where you've got to weigh things up and you've got to say to yourself, is it worth going used versus new? Now, I'm not sure whether I got this on the right day <clears throat> or it was a flash sale or whatever, but I've been looking for a couple of weeks um, on, the, on eBay, on Amazon, and then I do a Google search. There's, there's three ways that I do basically if I'm if I'm looking for something. Go on eBay, have a look on that, get the best price. Go on Amazon, have a look on that, get the best price, and then Google what you want, and then you'll get the shopping list at the bottom. And there was one that flashed up, I think, for one sixty eight fourteen, but it's a kind of a mm, not sure about it, a very strange site. Only got a mobile phone number and looks very iffy. I even went to the, the, the trouble of actually going on to the, um, um, it's like a review site that reviews these companies and it had a lot of bad reviews so I thought leave that one alone. So the best price I was find, kind of finding was like 178 around there and they range from anywhere between 178 to 225 something like that as a bare unit right. <clears throat> Anyway, I've been looking and in search every day. I've had, a, I've had a Google search, I've had an eBay search, and I was literally, I was literally, you know, literally going to go for a second hand one. If, if we get it for around probably 50, 60 quid, I'd have just bought a second hand one and be done with it. But yeah, it sold for £156. And I thought to myself, Christ, that's mad, right? Then 
some strange reason, this one that flashed up on a, on a, on a Google search, right, from Power Tools UK, not sponsored by them, none of that rubbish, right, I'm just saying that's where it came from, right, it flashed up, right, what did it flash up? Uh, let me just take the shipping off and I'll tell you what it was because it was um, Came up, right, flashed up, £153, £37, and I thought, blimey, that's the cheapest one I've found by, by a long shot, by, by, by at least 20 quid, right, avoiding that rubbish sign. At least 20 quid, that's the cheapest I've found, right? So the saw itself was £153, £37, right, and it was £5.75 delivered so the total to buy this saw was 159 pounds and 12 pence right i don't know if it'll read it backwards will it it might not read it backwards i'll do another photoshop of it anyway but 159 pound 12 pence delivered right bear in mind right <laughs> This guy's bought a second hand one for £162.20. Okay, it's not a you know a huge amount, but the big factor to me here is, I mean, there's what three quid in it, three pound in it, right? But the big factor to me is right. This guy has bought this used saw with no warranty whatsoever. You might get a thirty day thing with the eBay, but I'm, chances are I would say he's probably he's got nothing, right? So he's going to take that saw and if it, if you know, he might use it, it might be absolutely fine. Who knows? I don't know. But if it does blow up or it break within the next, I don't know, three years, two years, whatever. It's done, isn't it? It's done his money, right? I paid 159 for this, right? I've registered it on the DeWalt site. It gets comes with a three year warranty. Right, anything goes wrong with it, I mean, apart from the chain, anything goes wrong with it, right, in three years, they'll fix it, right. Um, so yeah, new versus used, I mean, it's a no-brainer, isn't it, really, I mean, you're mad. Do your research before you start buying these things, because you can save yourself a lot of money, maybe not a lot of money, but you can save yourself money. But think about it, three year warranty, right? What's the three year warranty worth? I mean, to me, even if this guy, right, was to buy one at the, at the cheapest price, 178, I think you are, so like, I don't know, what is it? 18 pound more, 18 pound more for the three year warranty. Surely that's a no brainer, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. I think it is anyway. Now, <clears throat> I will say to you, registering this saw on the DeWalt, right? Okay. Now, the model number is a DCM565 on the machine. That's what it says on the machine, right? Let me see if I can. Uh... So on the machine, look, it just says DCM565, right? When you try to register this, it comes up with about three different kind of models, right? There's nothing in the instructions of the actual model number, right? There, because there's, there is two or three models, I think. I'm not sure, 100%, but there is two or three models. So on your box, just check your number and register it with that, with that code there. And obviously you need your... Um, your thingy code it's on there it's easy to do but yeah you need to get your number off that off that 
<coughs> so, <coughs> used versus new, where do you stand? <laughs> I know where I'm starting on this. There's no two ways in the world, you know what I mean? Buy it new, aren't you? I am. For that price, for what I paid for it. I mean, I've bought it brand new, cheaper than he's bought a second hand one. I'm going to get a three year warranty with it, so. To me, it's buy it new. Now I bought this. I've got, I've got um, a bit of a hedge reduction to do. I met my dad, so I kind of bought this to do it. That's really what I bought it for. But it's going to come in handy for other things, I'm sure it is. I have got a chain a petrol one, but I, it's quite a big hedge, and I don't really want to be blasting that all day. You know pissing the neighbours off and just doing me head in basically I would think so that's why I bought this I've got the batteries for this so no brainer um reviews on this on this chainsaw there's a lot of reviews on on YouTube a lot and there's quite there's quite a lot of good ones to be honest and and after watching quite a few that's kind of what's made me to get it <clears throat> there is the issue with it leaking oil apparently um and it's this this kind this issue has been around for a couple of years. I don't know whether this has been fixed or not, but on the oil cap, on the oil filler cap, I've already broken this. I've already broken the end, it's already broken. <laughs> I've already broken it. Um yeah, the, even actually you go on the DeWalt website, the model number's slightly different because it's I think it's the American version. But it's basically it is the same saw. It's a six five, might be a six five. I don't know what it is. Six six or I don't know. Don't know. Don't quote me on that. But I'll show you a picture. They recommend that um, on this cap, you stick an O ring on there if it's leaking, like a tight one, just to go on there. Even though there is an O ring in there, there is actually an O ring in there. But they recommend putting a, another one on there. Whether that will work or not, I don't know. We're going to have to find out. Oh my god. Um, yeah, that's what they recommend. So that's the, the I think the biggest um, issue people have been having. It's been leaking oil, but they they do say change um put um uh, an O ring in there, and um, if need be store it like that. I mean, this is probably one of those tools that's not going to come out every day, every week. You know, it's going to come out every now and again. So. Emptying it out or storing it like that's probably not really going to be an issue for me. I'm not really bothered. Simplicity of it is amazing, to be honest. Especially like the uh, chain adjustment because it's literally just there. You can literally just undo this and just turn that to adjust it. Really, really, really easy. Comes with a full, I wouldn't say full, but it's got a 12 inch. 12 inches it says ha <laughs> let's face it lads <laughs> we all add a few inches don't we in this case i think they've took a couple off so your complete usable your usable inches is probably about usable inches probably about 10 and a half 10 to be on the safe side usable so you do you actually are losing two inches but don't tell anybody that will you be all right so yeah that's it really i'm not going to go and waffle and you know there's no sales pitch here i'm just saying this this is my advice to you is if you are buying something <clears throat> And you are thinking about going down the used route, which is nothing wrong with that at all. If it's going to save you money, I'm all for it. I will buy used all day long if it's going to save you money. But sometimes you you are just better to buy new. I say he paid £162.20. We paid £159.12. We get a three-year guarantee warranty with it. No brainer. Um that's it anyway anyway hope it uh helped you out maybe um if it did give us a share give us a like subscribe whatever you want to do 
Um, Derek, thanks for that message. Hope it helped you out as well. And uh, yeah, there's a couple of little pictures here. I'm going to show you of the um, actual Dewalt thing and a couple of pictures of this chainsaw being sold. And there's actually another one on eBay at the minute. I think it's up to over 100 quid. And uh, even at that, I think, even if you got it for 100 quid, I think for, well, I paid 60 pound more. 60 pound more for a three year warranty, 20 quid a year. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? Tell me what you think. What would you, what's your, what's your thoughts on this? What would you do? You're going to buy a used one or you're going to buy a, a new one? <laughs> If the prices, you know, are that close or, you know, I don't know, as I said, anyway, stop waffling, go out and buy a chainsaw, ch chop some wood, be a man. Happy days. Peace. So this was the saw that was sold on eBay for £156.06. And yeah. Also, an invoice of what I paid for mine, which is here, and there's also a bit of information about the O ring on the oil tank leak. Happy days.